Artists, show me something that you've made that makes you go, I have no clue how the hell I made this, but this looks amazing. Susah susah bikin dragon paper. Sampai lan mau habis. Hasilnya malah kek gini. Tapi jangan dihujat ya. Satu, dua, tiga. Namanya Fulchan. Jelek banget, Cok. Follow dan like. Tutorial how to make a hand dragon. What you will need. Paper 2. Something to cut with. Glue. Tape. Pencil. Step 1. Fold the paper in half and cut it. Step 2. Fold both of the papers as I do and glue and tape them together. Step 3. Fold them in half and cut one shorter it would be the mouth. Spec 4. Place on paper and draw around it then make it longer so that it can stick. Step 5. Cut and fold as I do. Step 6. Get the big ones and glue and tape them to the other part. Do the same on the small ones. Step 7. Tape them together and decorate. Voila! Don't 
you dare laugh. Korang jangan follow saya. Saya akan kembali. Oh, okay. Eh, korang? Korang baru follow ke? Okay. Saya nak pergi mandi dan korang jangan like video ni. Uh, sejuk eh tadi. Eh, korang like eh? Korang ni. Okay, korang jangan komen. Saya nak pergi siap-siap sekejap. Serius lah korang. Hai. Okay dah. Korang jangan share. Saya nak pergi makan. Aku belum bergerak kau dah share. Kau ni. Tak apa, tak apa. Ah, dah lah. You want a taste of my brain? Okay, it's yours anyway. A bite of my eye. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding! Put puppet base. Enjoy. What you're gonna need? Alright, so you are not the first to comment this to me. So, people are saying the base doesn't work out, but this is because you haven't done anything to the base yet. The base right now opens like this, as you guys can see, and it does look like this in the front. The widow looks the same in the front. I'll show her right now for comparison. So obviously, as you open the base, it does open like this. Widow also only opens this far, so it doesn't open like as far as a normal puppet. And also, it's going to be flimsy. So I want you guys to know that it's going to be flimsy before you do anything. So it's very flimsy. And also, this one is much shorter compared to Widow's. Widow is a very tall, very long one. So I just want you to know that there is some comparison differences. One of the first things is you didn't add anything to the base yet. So you just have the base. The base will be flimsy, the base will be stupid, the base will feel like it's not working. But once you have the puppet and you actually build the puppet on the inside, as you guys can see, there is a puppet legitly here. Like a normal puppet, as you make a normal puppet, any normal puppet, like just a normal puppet like this, you make legitly one of them like here, you make another one here, and you make another one here. But you just design it differently. Secondly, here is Widow's front. Her front doesn't close at all, so as you guys can see, this is how far it closes. The same as this normal base. It just doesn't close completely. So obviously it won't close completely like Widow's is right now. On top it kind of is, but the bottom is definitely not. So obviously I did paint mine, so it's a little bit stronger here in between, and also I did add this, though these webbing stuff doesn't really do anything. So by the way, you still have to design the puppet before you can just say it's a fail and it doesn't work, because the base does work. This one works, as you could see, I could open it, but it's very flimsy, you just have to add the puppet in it by making literally a normal puppet here and here. As you can see in the back, here's where the puppet is, here's where the puppet is. I just cut it off over here. So there's a whole difference to these puppets compared to the normal ones where you just make a puppet and add a top. So these are a little bit different, but this is how it works. And I would like you to know, just try before you just say the base is a fail. Because it is not. You just didn't do anything to the base yet. You just have to still add details add a dragon maybe give it a tongue i don't know anything you want and then you can save the bases and work
but I paint my dragons so it's much different compared to color. So this dragon is much heavier and much stronger because the paint dries and then it's stronger. So I would like you to just know that. Yeah. Another thing I just wanted to mention is, as you can see, here I didn't add any puppet at all. It's just the outside of the puppet here and here. So, yeah. <laughs> Today, nobody wished me happy birthday, but that's okay because today isn't my birthday. I bite at the ham that feeds me Slap at the face that eats me Some kind of animal cannibal Animal cannibal Korang jangan follow saya Saya akan kembali <sighs> Okay Eh Korang Korang baru follow ke? Okay saya nak pergi mandi dan korang jangan like video ni. Uh, sejuk eh tadi. Eh, korang like eh. Korang ni. Okay, korang jangan komen. Saya nak pergi siap-siap sekejap. -siap Serius lah korang. Hai. Okay dah. Korang jangan share. Saya nak pergi makan. Aku belum bergerak kau dah share kau ni tak apa tak apa ah dah lah eu posso jogar no seu celular? tem jogo não eu baixo ah, aqui eu não tenho internet não, não vai dar aqui tem um wi-fi ai ah, meu deus do céu misericórdia meu celular acabou de descarregar mas você tá usando 
Não tô usando mais. Ah! Hey guys, just came back from dance class. <gasps> Michael, what are you doing in my room? <laughs> Why'd you lock the door? <laughs> oh, shit. This is a message to all the haters out there. If you don't like what I do, but you watch everything I'm doing, you're still a fan. How to make a dragon puppet. What you'll need. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half, and cut it. Take one half and fold it like I do. Do the same for the other half and cut it so it's shorter than the top. Fold another sheet of paper in half. Add marks at the bottom of your fingers. Trace the outside of the bigger base piece. and fold the flaps up. Cut off the bottom to make two separate pieces. Take one of the two triangles, add glue and stick it onto the bigger base piece. triangle and stick it on too. Your top jaw is complete. Do the same process for the smaller base piece. Take a small piece of paper, fold it in half and stick one half to the top base.